foundation for leash walking. So let's just review how I quickly got the dog in this kind of circle of fun, facing the same direction that I'm facing. So if the dog's standing up, come on, bud. Hi. You can get a treat. Just take a couple steps backwards and lure him. Kind of think about it like a little bit like a loop. We're going to lure him. Come on behind us, and then I'm going to take a couple steps forward with that treat right in front of his nose, lift it up, and now he's right exactly where I want him, and I'm teaching him, before we even start any, whoopsie, dropped a treat, here, let's try that again so you can see it, come here, Popo, yes, so I'm teaching him before we even start adding movement to this, meaning walking, that being at my side, giving me attention, I'm going to take that tree, hey, I'm going to pause right on my hip and it's going to come straight down my pant leg, but I would need to have him looking at me first, hey, uh-uh, hey, yes, as soon as he gives me eye contact, he gets a marker, yes, tells him he's done the exact right thing, yes, and I try to go a little bit faster so he doesn't want to start looking away. Eventually, he will know just to keep giving me eye contact. Up, up, up. All right, now I'm going to add a couple steps. Let's go. Then I'm going to just lure him backwards again with my treats. Hi. Yes, good boy. Good boy. And then I'm going to lure him forward. Right here. This is a really hard concept for puppies. yesterday where when I tried to put pressure on his harness he really backed he ended up backing out of it he didn't like it at all so we're gonna work a little bit on that's called oppositional reflex so I'm gonna want you to work a little bit on that um, this weekend where we're putting pressure I'm pulling and then I'm treating okay so pop, pop, pop. Let's go. so that he starts to be more comfortable with feeling that pressure. Let's go. Yes. And in the beginning, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to drag him. Let's go. I might just, hey, pop, 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 pop. I might just kind of give a little tuggy. Let's do a little tug. Gotcha. Sometimes I'll add a little word like, I gotcha. Yeah. So I want that tail wagging just like that. I'm giving him some really yummy, got him some string cheese here. So I can combine this with name game also. So I can go, Pee -pee. yes, and then grab. If he really resists, I'm gonna put that treat in and lure him. I'm not gonna drag him. That's not gonna help my, my uh, game plan here. So if I, gotcha. So what I want is, I want to be able to grab and pull him and for him to want to drive him towards me versus putting the brakes on. That's just a real safety issue. Hey, enough. So that's a safety thing. Like if I need to grab you really quickly, I do not want you wanting to move away from me. Um, so again, gotcha. So in the beginning, if he's really resisting, all I'm going to do is just, gotcha. I'm not even going to put a lot of pressure on. Gotcha. I kind of want him to be willing. Gotcha. Yes, like that. Willing to get up and move towards me. So, So no luring with your, uh, excuse me, he needs to get his release word before he gets up. Down. Sir. Right here. 
Let's go. We're gonna reset. See if we can do it from coming back. I'm gonna take this off. So I'm going to transition. I know you probably can't see from there, but I just transitioned from having food in my hand to no food in my hand. Wednesday next week. Hey, guys, shh.